Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today I'm coming at you with the last paid request that Steven Heretta wanted me to take a look at, which is for the Korean film I Saw the Devil, which I had heard about this film. I heard a lot of good things about this movie and I got pretty excited when this paid request came in because I really wanted to see this film and now I had even more of a reason to see it and I did really enjoy it for what it was. Um, it's a pretty solid revenge movie. It's pretty brutal. It is a little long in the tooth, I will say, and we'll get we'll cover all that in the course of the review, but I did thoroughly enjoy this movie. This was a, a, a pretty nice surprise and you know even better it was a paid request. So like I said it gave me even more of a reason to want to check this movie out. But before I go any further, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request such as this, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series, cartoon, comic book, video game, um, music, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, and anything in between. Uh, that's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try some different things. And it does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me do here on the channel, and I keep making them. And like they used to say in Blockbuster, everybody goes home happy, and the gravy train keeps rolling along. Um, I am still a little bit backed up on the paid request. Um... Today is Monday. I am actually off school today, so I am going to try to catch up on some of these paid requests, but I am hoping, you know, I know I keep saying this, but I'm hoping by the end of this week, maybe the beginning of, actually, probably, honestly, most of them will be caught up because from here out, there's only really uh, a couple movies that people wanted me to review, and then... There was a couple commentaries that people wanted me to do. So, yeah, actually, you know, I probably will be caught up because I'm also off on Fridays as well. So, you know, being off today and being off on Friday, you know, honestly, you know, I should be caught up on the paid request pretty soon here. So don't worry. If you have sent one in, just please be a little bit more patient. It is coming. And for those that are thinking about sending one in, again, just please be patient. They're coming as fast as I can get them out, so don't worry. But again, I always appreciate you guys sending them in because, you know, I've been able to see some really cool stuff and also some terrible stuff. So, but it's a balance beam, you know, you get a little bit of everything. So it is what it is. But I saw the devil. Um, this is a Korean film. Now, I am not well versed in Korean cinema. Um, that's another uh, uh, country of films that I need to check out. You know, of course, I always want to watch more Hong Kong films. Um, I'm a sucker for a good Hong Kong film, as you guys know. And I'm a sucker for a good Japanese film as well. But I definitely need to uh, broaden my uh, film taste and get more into Korean cinema. Um, but the stuff that I have seen from Korea, particularly Squid Game, which features uh, Lee Byung-hung, who is the star of this movie, um, I have enjoyed. I do like Korean films. I do like Korean cinema. Um, and I really enjoyed this film. I, I thought this was pretty solid. Again, my biggest complaint is it's a little long in the tooth. It's almost a two and a half hour film. And I was really shocked um, by that running time when, uh, when I looked up this movie. I was like, good God. <laughs> but, um... You know, it it is a slow burn, but it works for the story. But just for me personally, my taste, it's a little too long. You could have cut stuff out of it. Um, but anyway, uh, it, it, it's a revenge film. Um, Lee Byung Hung is a, I I don't know how they do it in Korea. I guess he's like a FBI agent, CIA agent type of thing. 
and his fiance gets murdered, pregnant fiance gets murdered by this killer, this guy who is, you know, going around, uh, he's killed multiple people, and throughout the course of the movie, he kills more people, and her father is the police chief, and he's going to do everything that he can to stop this so he goes after suspects he brutalizes these fucking guys which was really cool there was one i, I don't want to give well i th guess it doesn't matter but there's one guy that this dude's like a porn addict and he breaks into his house while he's doing his thing and he's like beating him in the dick and it was pretty violent and i'm like yeah like this is awesome um you know and he just starts like hunting these guys down and, and beating the fuck out of them to find out who it is he does find the killer pretty much right away, but he kind of toys with him a little bit. Like, he puts a tracking device in him. Like, he makes him eat a tracking device so he can find him. And, you know, he keeps murdering people. Like, there's this one part where the killer, he gets in a car, a cab, and these guys are going to rob him. And he realizes what's going on, and he starts stabbing them. And the way that was shot was excellent. Because the camera is like on the outside of the car and it's just circling around while he's killing these guys. And I thought that was very well done. Um, you know, and by, of course, by the end of the film, he catches up with them and and gets his revenge. Um, but like I said, it, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty violent. And, you know, it, it's a movie. It's not real. It's not like they really killed these people. And I'm sure people, oh, my God, how, how it's so violent. Yeah, right. OK. Um, Go walk around your neighborhood. I'm pretty sure you'll find something more violent than a movie, but that's just my opinion. But this was really solid. You know, the it's pretty I think it was pretty much all practical effects. I don't I didn't notice any CG. There might have been some little touches of CG here and there, but the majority of it, I would say 99% of it was all practical, which was really nice to see. And and again, this is a Korean film that came out 12 years ago. But, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed that aspect, how, you know, it was all blood squibs and, and make up people doing their job and making it look as real as it possibly could. Uh, obviously, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. You know, I am a sucker for practical effects, as you guys probably well know at this point. But that's just me. Um, the acting I thought was well done. Now, the, the guy that plays the killer, I... I was like, what was this guy in? He's in Old Boy. I've actually never seen Old Boy. I need to check that out. And um, of course, Lee Byung Hung is the lead. Now, I've always liked him. You know, the first I would say the first thing that I probably saw him in was the shitty G.I. Joe movies. And then he was in um, I think I still have it over there, Red Two. Red Two was okay. But um unfortunately, I don't think he's had the best luck in American movies. I don't know what it is about Asian actors. I don't know why Asian actors or directors, when they come here to America to ply their trade, they kind of get fucked over. I mean, John Woo definitely did, Chow Yun Fat, Jackie Chan. I don't know what it is. I, I've, you know, I've talked ad nauseum about this over the years. I've made videos about it, but I don't understand why. When these superstar Asian actors come here to do American films, they never are given the chances. I just don't get it. You, you would, I mean, obviously these producers, these companies, these money people, they know what they're they're getting. You know, they know what they're paying for, but it just never works out the way that it should, in my opinion. Um, but I, I like Lee Byung Hung, and I thought he was great in this movie. You know, I really enjoyed his performance. Again, like I mentioned earlier, he was in Squid Game. He was great in that. Um, but his American career has just kind of been, you know, the the shits for the most part. I mean, Red 2 was okay. The the first Red was way better. But I think, do I, do I still have that? I don't want to get up right now and look in the middle of the video. But actually, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Because it's only right here. Oh, I don't, okay, I don't have that anymore. Sorry. So I got up for nothing. I got rid of it because I watched it once and I just couldn't really get into Red 2. The first Red I really liked, but I mean, other than that, unfortunately, he was in Terminator Genesis. 
Um, he was in the shitty G.I. Joe movies. So, like I said, unfortunately, he hasn't really had the best of luck when it comes to American films. But he was great in this movie. Everybody else was. And at the end of the day, this was a really solid movie. You know, um, I think it's available here in America on Blu-ray. I will definitely pick it up. Um, but you got to be in the right mood to watch this. Again, this is like a two and a half hour movie. It is a slow burn. I get why they did that. But in my opinion, you could have cut at least 30 minutes out of the movie to kind of help it move along. But I understand Korean cinema is different than American cinema. But, you know, at the end, at, can't talk. Words are bad. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I did really enjoy this film. You know, I thought it was very solid. It's a very good revenge movie. And uh, definitely one I would like to pick up, add to the collection, and watch again. And definitely would watch this again. But thank you, Stephen, for all the paid requests. Um, next up, we got more paid requests to get to. So until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and we will talk soon. See you.